The old school fundamentals of land and water remain at the center of cattle production in what used to be the Old West, where many a range war was fought. There are still fights over resources in this rugged way of life, but how the battle is won depends on who's asking the questions. Here's Josh Bittner with that story. Right here in this very spot, I got pictures of many, many elk in here. And they're saying, well, no, the elk don't do the damage, it's the cows. No, no, that's not true. Spike Goss ranches on a federal grazing allotment in New Mexico's Sacramento Mountains, where the Sky Island's natural resources have provided generations a livelihood from the land. His chain of title stretches back to the late 1800s, but Goss fears his way of life is under attack. My rights come long before New Mexico became a state, long before there was a U.S. Forest Service, but yet they won't recognize that. More than 50 years ago, the land was federally designated part of the Sacramento Ranger District. The district covers about half the area of the over one million acre non-contiguous Lincoln National Forest. Most allotment owners around here don't understand what's going on, I don't believe. After we're gone, they're coming next. Goss believes a tangled web of old laws and newer regulations have been misinterpreted through policy over time leaving split estate public land use fundamentally altered through sue and settle litigation. They want our water. If they can get the water, they can control us. They have us. I mean, we're finished without water. Goss's Sacramento Grazing Association pushed back against the federal government for decades before suing the U.S. Forest Service in 2004. But not until last year did a judge uphold Goss's assertion that fences erected by the Forest Service to safeguard critical riparian habitat fit the Fifth Amendment's definition of illegal takings by preempting stream access for his thirsty cattle. Goss says the federal agency has largely disregarded the court decision, but as the post-trial damages phase continues, USDA Forest Service officials told Market to Market they are unable to comment on the ruling. They just started this this year, putting these fences in the exclosures, these small fences in the exclosures. So every drop is appreciated. Beth Humphrey, a, a retired driver. district ranger, um, says the agency is governed by a multiple use policy that requires weighing input from several stakeholders, along with other tasks like fire prevention and wildlife management. In general, if we, if we fence out a piece of ground, it's to protect for threatened and endangered species, or in some cases, we will fence off an area to protect erosive soils. Over a century ago, the U.S. government incentivized Western expansion by allowing those who arrived first the right to own water and mineral rights, known today as prior appropriation. States east of the 100th meridian, flush with rain and snow, generally received riparian water rights. Forest Service says we're a permittee. We're not permittees, we're allotment owners. We own our allotments, we bought it, and then we pay a grazing fee on top of that. And yes, in 1978, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled it, that we own the water rights. As Goss's case was being heard, the New Mexico Meadow jumping mouse was granted endangered species protection, creating further friction between ranchers and rangers. This is wasting our time, it's wasting your time. If you want this damn water, pay for it. I don't want the water. Humphrey says the whole situation brought to mind recent high-profile standoffs over similar issues in Nevada and Oregon. There were some outside interests who were trying to elevate the contention. We were concerned uh, when that happened. We didn't know what to expect from some of the people that have that value system and that mindset about the federal government. Um, th there is an element of that here. But Spike's wife, Kelly Goss, refutes those sentiments. No, we will not resort to violence. This is not worth no. someone's life. This is our heritage, our way of life, our livelihood, what we want to pass down to our kids and our grandkids. Critics charge the Forest Service has shifted to a more environmentally based vision and mismanagement is evidenced by the increased number and severity of Western wildfires. I think we need to be honest and say that the land here has been overgrazed um, and we need to really figure out a way to bring it back to its glory as what it, you know, it used to be. 
Water rights holders across the land of enchantment say environmental activists have deftly employed legal tools to further their causes, citing the Equal Access to Justice Act and other provisions that allow nonprofits to sue the federal government and recoup legal fees at taxpayer expense if they win. But Wild Earth Guardian's executive director, John Horning, instrumental in winning legal concessions for the mouse, says organizations like his take huge financial risks. Horning argues the margin of error for endangered species is too small for compromise and calls grazing an economically marginal activity, adding that cattle congregate around waterways, strip away vegetation, and send shock waves through ecosystems. They just continue to take and take and take. Some allotment owners believe career bureaucrats have used environmentalism to swing policy in their favor. The Gosses say they've endured pressure from the federal government across multiple administrations, but admit President Trump's campaign calls to drain the swamp resonated with them. We hope. We haven't seen it yet, but we hope. Hope so. We'd like for somebody back there to, to come out here and take a good hard look at this and, 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 and look, at, look at our issues and, and listen to some stuff that's been going on and look at some of our documentation and mostly follow the law. I don't believe they're following the law at all. No easy answers in a story like that one. These days, it's not unusual for conflict where multi-use land rights are concerned. More people using the land, the politics get messier every day.